In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this fun text effect. So really this effect is to put text behind a subject in your frame and we're gonna use Canva Pro and you're gonna be mind blown how easy this is. Especially if you've ever spent time in visual effects programs like After Effects and tried to manually key out a subject. So let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into Canva Pro and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Okay, so here we are at the homepage of Canva. Let's just go up to the top right corner and press create design. And here we can type in YouTube video and you'll see YouTube video right here. And this will give us the right dimensions and settings that we need to edit video in Canva. And now I'll just need to upload a video that I want to add this effect to. So if you wanna add the effect to just a few words, then you can do what I did, which is to actually create an export of just those few words in your video editing software which is what I did using Adobe Premiere. So then you can come along the left-hand side here in Canva and click on Uploads. And then under Videos, you can upload your own video. And I uploaded my video here. Let's check it out. This fun text effect. Okay, and you'll notice when you just click on the video that it doesn't actually fill the full page, which is good for this effect. We're gonna wait a minute before we fill the whole page so we have a, some room to move things around. And what we wanna do is get the text behind me. So what we really wanna do is to remove the background from my video, and Canva has an amazing background remover effect from video. And it's really cool. It especially works great if you want to use a green screen or a blue screen. And if you're in a room like this, we'll see how it turns out, but you can experiment with maybe having a backlight hit the back of your head or being nice and far away from your background or having a solid color background. You're gonna get a better result from this effect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and kind of move these layers around. And then on this top layer here, I'm actually gonna come up to where it says edit video. And look, there's this effect right here. It says background remover and it is in beta right now. So the more people that use it, the better it will get as it collects data. And this is very similar to when they did the background remover on photos. And I actually did a video right here where I show you how to remove the background from photos and create this similar effect with photos. And so we'll wait for this to remove the background and see how it does. Okay, so it looks like it did a pretty good job. We could watch it by pressing play here. This fun text effect. Okay, so there was a little trippy stuff going on with my hand and the lamp behind me. So if I wanted to, I could redo this effect and kind of maybe kill that lamp behind me. That's probably because it's similar to my hand color. So you can see this technology, they're still learning. It's a very impressive artificial intelligence technology. It's gonna look cool for this effect anyway because this effect is gonna play so quickly. And this effect and any other kind of purpose you wanna use this for might kind of fall into a little bit of that kind of gimmicky look of an effect, but it can be really fun if you just wanna quickly put yourself in space or in ancient Rome. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to click on the text button over here on the left-hand side, and we're gonna add the word this in all caps. I'll also turn, change the color of this to a white color. And we can adjust the size here in the font size. I'm gonna click in here and just put in like 300 because I think it's gonna need to be pretty big. And I'll adjust the text box here so it's nice and snug on this. And we'll make this really nice and big. I like to keep the text box actually inside the frame of the video. That helps when things get a little tricky later with Canva as far as keeping our layers organized. And now you'll notice that my background removed layer of me is still behind this. So with this layer selected, we can come up to where it says position here and you'll see we can bring it forward or backward. And Canva also gives us the quick key for that, which is on a Mac command bracket or on a PC that would be control bracket. So I can just come out here with this layer selected, I'll press command bracket and now it's in front and we just kind of slide it right back on top where it belongs. And that looks great. And we can check out how that looks now by pressing play. This fun text effect. So you can see there's a little wishy-washy stuff around my hands, but it looks pretty cool to have the word behind me. So now what we need to do is change this word every time I change a word. And we can also animate the way that the text comes in. So what I'll do back to my timeline again here is down here at the bottom, we can actually toggle between a Zoom page or our Zoom thumbnails. The zoom, if we want a zoom page, is really referring to this timeline down here. And I can now increase the zoom page, which is good because this will allow me to make some cuts or some splits along the timeline. Let's go ahead and add an animation to the word this. So I'll kind of scoop my top layer out of the way so I can access this. And I'll say animate, and let's do 
this one, shift. And we'll say just on enter. I wanna make sure that it's just on enter. You can do it by character, this, that's kind of fun. And we can make the speed really fast. This, this, and we'll make the speed as fast as it goes. And that looks pretty cool. And then I can slide this back on and we can always look how that looks now. This fun text effect, cool. And the this is gonna go faster once we make some splices. So let's do that. I'm gonna press play here. And right before I say the word fun, I'm gonna press the S key to make a split. This, okay, and I stopped it. Now I'll press S and make a split. And I'll do that again, fun. And then I'll press an S right before I say text. And then I'll do that again right before I say the word effect. Text effect. Ooh, I kind of miss a missed effect, so I'll scoot back just a little bit and press S. If I click on the second clip, we can now grab this top layer, kind of move him out of the way for a minute. We'll click on this, and now let's type in the word fun. And we'll do all caps again with fun. The size actually looks pretty good. We could probably make fun even bigger, but I think that size looks pretty good. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And stay inside the, the frame a little bit. So there's fun. We slide him on top of there. And now we can go ahead and go to the next clip. Let's grab this top layer of me, kind of pull him off. And we're gonna type in the word text. And we're gonna need to shrink the text down. So again, I'll come up here to the font size and let's just type in 400 instead of 480. We'll keep text with the same animation that we had on this. But let's go back to fun and change the animation. I'll click on fun and I'll say, instead of shift, let's do, Let's do skate. There we go, and it will skate in. I wanna make sure to click on on enter so it doesn't skate out. I think that would be too much animation. So we'll grab him, uh, this top layer, and put him on top again. And now let's go to the last one, this. Grab my top me and pull him out of the way, and we'll click on this. I'm gonna change this to 200, the size of this, because I know effect is a bigger word. And we'll type in effect. Let's hug it with the text box and expand it like so. Perfect. And then we'll snap him. He should snap right into place and sandwich on top of that. And now we have our effect so we can watch it. This fun text effect. Pretty cool, I would say. You can see it's not perfect, but the more we get in here and use this and play around with this effect, the better it will get. Canva will do a great job to improve it over time when it comes out of beta. So now the last thing we have to do is adjust the size of all of these. And maybe I could have done that first, but I find it's easier with the order of the layers to kind of wait till the end to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and press Command A or Control A on a PC when I'm clicked on this page and it will highlight everything in the design. And now as I scale it up, it should snap right into place where it belongs and it does. And you can see as it snapped into place, it also told me 1920 by 1080, which is what I want. So I just need to repeat that on each of these pages. Click on it, Command A. Oh, but see in this case, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble because the fun, the text box actually goes outside of the frame and that's gonna give me a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna bring fun down. That way it won't give me as much trouble. Snap it into place. Okay, and now we can watch it one final time to see how it turned out. This fun text effect. Okay, that turned out pretty good. And like I said, I have a blue screen that I could have just dragged in here behind me real quick for this. That way I'd have the same lighting, the same outfit, the same scene that I'm in, but I give Canva a much easier background to remove. But I think sort of the appeal of this effect is to not have to use a green screen, right? So get in there, play around with it, tell us what you think, make sure to leave a comment below. Also, if this is your first time to our channel, welcome, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video fun, and come back every week and check in on us. You'll find great and helpful videos for professionals and creators. We also offer industry-leading coaching programs for business owners and creators. You can find out more about our programs by going to podsoundschool.com. And also, like I mentioned earlier in the video, remember I made this video here where I show you how to do this same text effect, but behind photos, and it works really great using the background remover effect in Canva. So check out that video here.